welcome back to Cloud Tech Talks. My name is Pritesh and I'm back with another video. Today we are going to talk about the difference between cloud storage and cloud backup. So let's get started. To understand this better, let's get deeper into what is offered by a cloud storage service versus what is offered by a cloud backup service. Now to begin with, a cloud storage service allows an individual user to selectively sync specific files, folders, or even photos or videos to the cloud, right? So if you're familiar with how Dropbox works, how Google Drive works or OneDrive works, you are allowed to specifically sync uh, portions of your data or you can sync all of your data that you use on a daily basis to the cloud. On the other hand, a cloud backup service is independent of the user. So that backup service is actually periodically making copies of your data in the cloud and it's actually replicating whatever you have on your computer on your laptop or any other uh, you know workstation that you're using in your environment to the cloud so this is the key difference between how a cloud storage service works versus how a cloud backup service works now coming to the second point to get a deeper understanding of why we use a cloud storage service, it's because you want to share the information uh, with specific people with uh, uh, allowing a user to uh, do rights management or accessibility for that information, right? So you can select a photo album and share it with specific people that you want to and they can, sh they can view and comment on those photos or those albums whenever they want to. On the other hand, backup services are not meant for things like this backup service is just to make sure that in the event of something happening to your data whether your computer crashed your mobile crashed or any of your cloud service also crashed for some reason it can always have another copy available in the cloud for you so think of it as more of a restore function as opposed to what you do uh, you know with your files and folders with regards to collaboration with other people in the organization. The most important thing that I want to cover is where the data is stored. So if you're using a cloud storage service, it is it goes without saying that you actually use the storage cloud of that specific service provider, right? So you're using Dropbox, you're using the Dropbox cloud. If you're using Apple, you're using the Apple cloud. If you're using Google, you're using the Google cloud. But on the other hand, if you use a cloud backup service, that cloud backup service is actually a third party cloud. So, you know, if you're using a service like Acronis, if you're using a service like Veeam or Veritas or any such service, you are actually using that specific service provider's cloud or in some cases you can also choose your own destination as a cloud storage. You know, you, you can direct it to another infrastructure as a service, uh, service provider such as Amazon or Microsoft or Google, for example. So, this is the key difference you know where the data is stored and why it's important is because if something goes wrong with respect to your cloud storage service provider then you always have another uh, copy of information residing in another independent cloud backup service which means that any event of disaster or something that's happened to uh, uh, you know with respect to a cyber security attack you always have a copy of it residing in a third party cloud so I hope that gives you a very clear overview of what is the key differences between cloud backup and cloud storage as a service, right? If you need some more information, please write in the comments below. And as always, keep watching, like, share and subscribe. Until the next one, this is Pradesh signing off from Cloud Tech Talks. Thank you.